So One UI 7 is now officially rolling out to a whole bunch of different Samsung Galaxy devices like the Z Fold line of devices. And over the last several weeks, I have talked quite a bit about One UI 7, talking about how much I actually have enjoyed it, enjoyed the changes and the new features quite a bit. I think it's a pretty darn solid update. But in today's video, we do have to address something that is negative that I think is driving potentially quite a few of you crazy. Maybe you're wondering what exactly is going on. And this is such a great example of sometimes needing to sort of get outside your own thinking, look at what other people are dealing with and see from their perspective. We're looking at the Galaxy Fold subreddit. This is a post from leafy soup and they're complaining that this new update on their fold 5 is causing the left and right margins to be sort of too big and this is causing their widgets to be too small to act strange we have another post from broncat one ui 7 wastes the z fold screen the margins are awful now my widget fonts are tiny as well okay so i'm seeing all this stuff and i'm wondering what exactly is going on. So I grab my Z Fold 6. I'm thinking, have I just missed this while I've been running my betas? I open this up and I'm thinking, this does not look the way that they are showing in these images. If I go back over to this, you can see how much empty space is on either side of these screens or of, of that screen. And again here, I don't think I have that. I'm like, everything looks totally fine for me. And I'm running One UI 7. It's not the beta. It is the full stable version. I'm thinking, what is going on? Why are these people experiencing this problem when I am not? And then I thought of something. I'm probably doing something that these people are not. Obviously, there has to be some variable. If I long press on my screen, you can see exactly what that is. I have a particular setting not turned on. If you jump into your settings, you will see cover screen mirroring. I'm one of those weird people who actually has that turned on. I'm used to that behavior on my other foldable devices and I have it turned on here. So basically what happens is my home screen is the same as it is on my cover display. It's just the first two pages on my cover display. Watch what happens if I jump into this setting and I turn cover display mirroring off. It's a subtle difference but we are moved in by about double. The margin has about doubled. This widget has actually changed so that it's no longer even showing the same information because it has been effectively shrunk down. Now, I'm also seeing a lot of people very logically thinking maybe they could use the good lock module called Home Up to do something about this. And I think that we probably can, but if you try to just do this straight out of the box, it's going to tell you that the Home Up module is not compatible with this version of your operating system. For whatever reason, the updates are just not being pushed out, but you can go to APK Mirror. I'll put a link in the description down below and download this newer version of Home Up, let it update, and it will actually work. You can see here that it is fully functional on my screen. So what we're going to try here is we're going to look for in the Home Screen section DIY home screen. And what this does is it basically, uh, in addition to a lot of things, it's going to allow you to put stuff wherever you want it to be. So let's go ahead and go home. Let's long press on our uh, home screen here and we see the new option DIY home. Let's click on that. And we should be able to move these things around anywhere, but we should also be able to make them a little bit bigger than they were before onto those margins. Is that actually going to work? such that it will show the correct information. I don't actually know. Okay, going home, that's interesting. It still is showing the smaller version of the widget, even though it is larger. But the good news is you can get stuff into those margins now where you couldn't before. I'm literally sitting here editing this and I found a solution to that problem. So if we go home, we're not in the DIY home section. Let's just uh, long press on this widget. I'll put it back to the way that it was before and I'll show you the solution. So this is how it looked before, right? So I was using the DIY home option to make it bigger. Don't do that first. Drag this kind of over as far as you can and then enlarge it, make it have that full layout. And then when you go into the DIY home thing, you can resize it and change it to whatever size you want. You can have it be tiny and still have that full layout. You can make it bigger, whatever you want to do. So do it in that order and you can kind of make it work. Another option would be to go into this option and just kind of make the grid bigger. 
if your concern is getting widgets to display correctly because then you could just have a little bit more space and you could potentially then just spread this widget out a bit more and get that other layout. So maybe one or the other of these options could help you. But if your problem is using these margins, the DIY home screen option is definitely the way that you're going to want to go because that's going to allow you to put your applications, your widgets, whatever you want, all the way over as far as you can go. So there is mostly a solution to this problem. You just have to update your home up module using the link down below. This is certainly a frustrating thing, and this is exactly why I do occasionally browse some of these subreddits, because if not for seeing posts like this, I would have no idea that people were experiencing this problem. So hopefully for those of you that are experiencing this problem, you have somewhat of a solution. Thanks to Leafy Soup and Broncat for bringing this uh, inadvertently to my attention. Thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel in a more direct way, consider clicking that join button down below to get the occasional early access to video content, and you'll also get your name at the end of each video. See you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.